Hey guys, welcome back to the Oilers Fanatic. We are back today with another edition of Twitter Quick Hits, covering the latest Oilers news and rumors from around the Twitterverse. There is a rumor circulating that the Oilers might be looking to move Miko Koskinen to the Arizona Coyotes for Phil Kessel. I've seen it mentioned in a few areas, but I think Tracy Lane is the main source of it. If there is any legitimacy to this, it's somewhat interesting. Kessel did score 20 goals last year, and this would be the final year of his contract. He has a cap hit of $6.8 million, so if this does happen, the Oilers better not be retaining on Koskinen. They would already be adding $2.3 million in cap space. I want to point out though that I only want Phil Kessel if it's in addition to a first line left winger as he would be playing on the right side. I don't want just Phil Kessel. If it's between him and, say, Zach Hyman or a Brandon Saad, I'll take Hyman and Saad every day of the week over Kessel. Andy Strickland put out the following tweets regarding Oilers target Zach Hyman. St. Louis is among those with legit interest in potential free agent Zach Hyman. Lots of interest from a number of teams in Canada as well. Edmonton, Vancouver, Calgary. I do believe Seattle could become a player as well. He also adds, teams won't be getting Zach Hyman on less than a 7 or 8 year term, depending on who he signs with, sign and trade, etc. Hyman will have no shortage of suitors. 7 or 8 years seems too long to me though. Strickland also had this update on Taylor Hall, hearing Taylor Hall returning to NHL Bruins is moving in that direction. That would rule out a return to Edmonton, of course, but maybe it frees up Jake DeBrusque? Next up, Darren Greger put out these tweets on Zach Hyman. Sources say the Maple Leafs have granted Zach Hyman's agent, Todd Reynolds, permission to speak with other NHL clubs to investigate trading his rights. Considerable interest in Hyman league-wide. Some teams hoping to get the jump early, some need to wait until after expansion draft. Cap teams willing to move pieces. Leafs control process until the 28th, but trade allows Hyman the potential of a maximum 8-year deal elsewhere. Darren Greger also reporting tonight on Insider Trading that talks with Mike Smith are ongoing and are positive at this point, but no deal is done yet, and if Mike Smith goes to the free agent market, there are several teams that are interested in acquiring, so obviously no guarantee that Mike Smith is back. Well guys, that's all for today. What do you think about the Oilers acquiring Phil Kessel? What would you give Zach Hyman contract-wise? Sound off in the comments below. Enjoying the videos? Please like and subscribe for all the latest Oilers content. You've been listening to The Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan.